Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a lookup on the last matching value in Google Sheets. If you're familiar with most lookup functions, they're going to look up the first instance of a value. So let's say, for example, I want to look up training here and bring back the name, the, the department here and bring back the name. Now, if I did something else like human resources, it would bring back the first instance, the first record of that. And I'm bringing back the full name of the person there, right? So if I selected human resources, in this example, it's going to bring back the last one instead of the first one, right? It's going to bring back Norbert Brew instead of Thorndike Sinoke. And this is something that sometimes you want to do. You want to bring back the last one and not have it defaulted to bring back the first one. This particular example uses the index function, but I'm going to cover some lookup functions that you can do, and actually an old lookup function. So let's get started. In the lookup functions that I'm going to cover, there could be two scenarios that we can use. One is where we sorted the data, and one where we didn't sort the data. So if we sorted the data, I'm just going to take this, copy this, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. If we sorted the data, it's actually fairly easy to do because what we want to do is we want to look up, use the lookup function to look up the last of something. And I'm going to use this drop down as my looked up cell. And we want to bring back the last one there. So 13 is going to bring back 75 over here if I want to bring back the date. And 12, this range of 12 is going to bring back 829 instead of the first one here. So if we had the ability to sort our data first, based on the column that we want to look up. It's actually quite easy to do. All you need to do is type lookup, open parentheses, and I'll choose this cell. You can see, actually, let's, let's go back and take a look at the syntax of the lookup function. We have a search key, we have a search range, and then the result range. So basically, all you need to do is basically have two arguments to in, in there. But we're going to use three here with the search key, the search range, and then the result range. So the search key is going to be here. D1, and then our search range, we're going to look at all the different costs here. And what do we want to return? We want to return the row where that happens, where that value is found. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for our search key here. I'm going to close that one now. Okay, good. It got closed. Comma. Which is the search range? The search range is B3 to B16. And then comma. What do I want to return? I want to return the result range here, A three to A16, press enter. You see I have a formula text here. This is a formula text that just looks at that text here so you can get an idea of what the formula is while I'm talking about it. So it brings back 4, 3, 20, 20, which is the last one here. If I want to uh, go to number 12, I want to find 12, the cost of things. Uh, let's see, the last cost that went to 12 is 829, which, is fine, which you can find as 829 here. But if we didn't have the ability to sort that data, let's say the we had unsorted data, control C to copy, control V to paste, you can see it, it kind of gets broken, right? 12 here, it goes to 11, 1, 20, 20. The last 12 is this 829, right? We want to show that date. And how to do that? We're going to use the same lookup function, but we're going to use it a little bit differently. Now, we're going to type in lookup open parentheses, let's close this now. And here, instead of looking up this value, we're gonna look up the number two, and I'm gonna explain that a little bit later, comma, and then one divided by the range here, the cost here, and then we have that equal to now, the looked up value here. Close parentheses, comma, and then what's my result? I want my result over here, A3 to A16. Press enter, and we have an error because this is going to bring back an array of data, basically a list of data. See, we have a range here, B13 to B16. And since it brings back kind of a range of values, we need to wrap this in an array function. So the array function is called ARRA, ARRAY formula. Open parentheses, then close parentheses here, press enter, and now we have our value, 829. 2020, right? And if I change it to something else, maybe I want to change it to 10, it should bring back that value. And then it brings back 11, 1, 20, right? So that's going to bring back the last matching value. So it depends if you've got sorted data versus unsorted data. 
Now you may say, oh, these are numbers. And if I try to look up values that are text, it's gonna be different. Well, actually, no, it's not different. So let's see how we can look up text doing the same thing. So here I'm in another worksheet and let's try the sorted one first. So we sorted everything based on the department, Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And for the sorted, all I need to do is equal lookup, open parentheses, look up this value, comma, but where is the range that I'm gonna look up, comma, and what do I wanna return? That range, press enter, and you'll find that I have 752020 services. That's the last one here, 752020. If I select something else, maybe support, it's gonna to go to 122020, which is 122020 here. Same thing if I've got unsorted data that I did earlier. Control C to copy this, this range, Control V to paste, and here with unsorted, we're also doing the same thing. We wanna wrap it in an array formula function, and that's gonna be the lookup that's wrapped in there. So we're gonna do lookup the number two, comma, uh, one divided by this range equals to D1, uh, close parentheses, I actually, I actually have to add that open parentheses there, and then, comma, what do I wanna bring back? I wanna bring back this range, A2 to A, A3 to A16, close parentheses, press enter, and I've got my unsorted here, right? And so support, that's the last support here. Let's see, there's two legals here. Let's see if it brings back 972020, and click on that. We have 972020. So earlier, um, I had mentioned, how does this work? So basically what's happening here, let's bring out this formula, this part of the formula. Control C to copy, press escape to get out of that. Control V to paste. And let's do that. Let's get rid of that, type equal. And here I wanna make it an absolute cell reference because I'm gonna copy it down. So I wanna have D1 always reference D1 here. So press the F4 key, press enter. You notice that that's false. It's gonna look at that cell, that's false. Anytime it sees legal, it's gonna say as true. So there's a true here and there's a true here. So basically what this is indicating as, and if we think about it in terms of binary, false is a zero and true is a one. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna look and make that division. One divided by zero is the divide by zero error. One divided by one is a one. So this is gonna show up as a number one, right? And this one's gonna show up as a number one. And what it's gonna do here this lookup, it's gonna look up for, it's gonna to try to find the number two in this range, right? So we're gonna have these uh, divide by zero errors. If I, if I put a divide by zero error, this is what's basically happening. You're gonna get one a, a bunch of those. You're gonna get a bunch of these here. So if I go Control C to copy, these will all be divided by zero errors. Control V to paste, Control V to paste. And it's gonna look at these 14 values, right? And only two of them are gonna have number one in them. So it's gonna look up two, it's gonna, not gonna find it here, it's gonna look up two, it's not gonna find it here, two, not gonna find it here. It's gonna look up two for here, but and it's a value, but it's not two. So it's gonna go to the next one, next one, next one. And then when it gets to the bottom here, what the lookup does is it's gonna look up for the approximate match. So if it doesn't find number two after uh, the last value here, it's gonna go back and bring back that value. So the last value that is the closest match to the number two is going to be this row where it's legal. And then when it finds that to be true, it'll bring back the same row level as where that legal sits for the range you selected, A13, A3 to A16, which is this 9, 7, 20, 20. So that's what this particular formula is doing. And what the array formula is doing is, as I showed you earlier, if you didn't have the, if you didn't have look about the array, it's gonna bring back an error because it's bringing, it's actually, calculating based on a range of data, this array of, of values. And that's what the array formula does, is it enables uh, it to bring back a value because this is looking at an array. So that's how we can use the lookup functions to look up the vast, last matching value. Now, if you wanna be a little more challenged, we can go and try the index function. So here I am in this sheet, and the index function is a little bit more uh, involved. It's gonna be a combination of the index function 
a large function, an if function, so a row function, and a array formula function. So it's quite a bit. But if you're into the index function, you might have to do it this way. So here I'm going to type equal index, open parentheses, my index value a2 to a15, comma, I'm going to wrap another function here called large, and we're going to use the array function after that, a array formula, formula, and then wrap another function called if, and also wrap that, and now we're going to wrap it with the logic that we're going to determine what our value, looked up value is. So we're going to try to find if d2 to d15 equals f1 here, our looked up value, and if it does, bring back the row number. So the row number is going to be based off of this row function, and we're going to look up uh, row d2 to d15 since I'm since my the values of the this range start on second row. I'm going to have to minus one, right? So it's going to count out the rows, but we're using a header row, so that's going to be the first row minus one. Close parentheses, and then close another parentheses. We want the largest value that's going to come back from that. Press one, uh, close parentheses, and I think press enter. We've got Norbert Brew, right? So human resources. The last value, matching value here is that. And if I change it to something else, let's say business development, the last matching value is Ellen Shepard. So how does this crazy, crazy formula work? So type equal formula text and then cl click on that cell. You see it's a, it's a bunch of different uh, types of functions all wrapped in the index function. So what the array function is doing, let's, let's take uh, this part out. Let's do this array function and let's take that and we'll see how it kind of works. So if I did array and did that, let's see, I think that would work there. Control C to copy and put it here. Oops, escape. Let's try that again. Let's copy this. Control C to copy, escape. And let's paste it in here. Equals the array function. It's going to bring back a bunch of values. So what it's going to be looking at is it's going to look at this value here. Does that equal that? And it's going to say false, right? Because it doesn't. It's going to be false, 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 false. And there's only going to be two values that equal it. And because we had a true here, it brings back the row number minus one. So this is the 12th row and this is the 13th row, right? So if we go one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's the twelfth row, and that's what it's doing. Now, when we wrap that in that large function, it's going to look for the first largest value, which is thirteen, and that's why it brings back Ellen Shepard. Now, it's going to bring back the thirteenth row, and the thirteenth row of a two to a fifteen is where Ellen Shepard is. So that's how that this particular set of functions or this combination of functions is working. And that's a little crazy, but if you feel a little challenged, try to use the index function to wrap your arms around looking up the last matching value. But if you want something a little bit easier, the lookup function works just fine. But depending if you've got sorted data or unsorted data, you would use one or the other combinations of the lookup functions. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.